Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, your host with the most. And you can join our community, our global community and ecosystem built by investors for investors at richtv.io. Now, one of the picks that we really love for 2022 and beyond is GiveX, G-I-V-X in Canada, G-I-V-X-F in America. You need to put them on your radar and on your watch list. We're in a very difficult, tough, volatile market. And this is one of those companies that is growing in a tough market environment, growing its revenues with a tight share structure and a strong management team, a company that we believe is grossly undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed. Let's take a look at some news that was covered by the Globe and Mail, a sponsored piece of news that was covered by the Globe and Mail regarding GiveX Information Technology Group exclusively here on Rich TV Live. Don't touch that dial. Let's take a look, shall we? So this is the article that was posted on May 2nd, 2022, titled Why Investing in Restaurants Post-Pandemic Recovery Includes Fintech. And this is really how the larger trend of restaurants, and you can see here, restaurant chain Meltwitch Food Co. relies on a leading cloud-based point-of-sale system from GiveX Information Technology Group Limited put in place before the pandemic. So you can see here what the article discusses. And like I said, really a focus on restaurant resurgence and how GiveX services would be a part of it. Fast-growing restaurant chain Meltwitch Food Company has a secret weapon against the economic threat COVID-19 posed. It wasn't the gourmet grilled cheese it specializes in or any other menu item. It was critical behind the scenes technology. At the time the pandemic struck, Melwich had been franchising quick service locations across Canada and more and more in the United States. Increasingly, Melwich is a technology-driven company relying on a leading cloud-based point of sale POS system put in place before COVID-19. Talk about good timing, says Ryan Hillis, Vice President of Revenue for Melwich in Mississauga. Now, this article suggests that investors who are betting on restaurant growth now should also consider investing in the fintech financial technology sector those restaurants are using to drive it. It features Melwich, one of our clients from GiveX Information Technology Group, who recently expanded into the United States. So a integral piece was the POS system from GiveX Information Technology Group Limited, GIVX in Canada, and GIVXF in America, a publicly traded Canadian financial technology fintech company. The restaurant business is difficult at best of times, but the pandemic put even the most established and successful restaurants to the test yet those with the ability to shift easily from in-person services to online ordering with touchless delivery had a huge edge. Third-party delivery apps have allowed restaurants to reach customers amid the lockdowns, yet restaurants using POS systems that weren't well integrated with these providers often struggled facing extra layers of operational complexity. The right technology is key in judging multiple online delivery platforms. Many restaurants had to designate staff to enter orders from those apps manually into their own system. That wasn't the case for Melwich with GiveX's POS platform, which is game-changing. If a customer ordered through Uber Eats with GiveX's POS, the order went directly into our system with the customer's name, contacts, and order items, Mr. Hillis says. Because we're not punching in the orders, there's no room for human error. Game changing. This is why everyone needs to really put GiveX on their radar. Data, anal data analytics has been equally valuable, he adds. Meltwitch 
which launched in 2015, is a data-focused company drilling into the numbers to find out what customers like Mr. Hillis says GiveX's platform provides these insights. It's a one-stop shop, folks. We can pull all, we can pull up our sales across the country quickly to find, for instance, the most in-demand and least popular items to make better menu decisions, he says. FinTech has proven its worth to restaurants over the past two years, says Mr. says M.O. Char, Chief Commercial Officer at GiveX. From a restaurant surviving and thriving through the pandemic and adapting to the issues that have come with COVID-19, technology's value has shown through, he says, as the economy and mobility rebound, restaurants and other services and hospitality providers that find a way to prosper in this new environment are attractive investment bets. So too are the fintech providers that help that can help them bounce back with the right solutions. So this is why everyone needs to really put GiveX on their radar and on their watch lists. Investing in digitization was a pandemic advantage. The pandemic has been a tough slog for restaurants from the outset. According to re research by NPD Group, restaurant visits in the autumn of 2021 were still 18% below pre-pandemic levels in Canada. Bright spots, however, were takeout, drive-through, and delivery. Those grew by double-digit percentages year over year and accounted for 83% of all visits. The NPD report cited technology as an advantage during the pandemic, noting that companies must continue to invest in digitization of food services in a new normal of uncertainty, call it leveraging bytes for more bytes. Before using GiveX's POS system, Meltwitch had used GiveX's gift card platform, that arm of GiveX business is long established with more than 100,000 customers making the Canadian fintech company a market leader in the gift card space. Yet GiveX has grown over its 23 years in operation. And must I say, 23 years in operation, this is not a startup company. This is a company that has figured things out, making tens of millions of dollars and been in business for 23 years to offer a diverse suite of services from gift cards to loyalty reward platforms to POS systems and data analytics. The ability to offer integrated technology platforms to a winning recipe for today's fintech firms and the companies which they do business, Mr. Char says. An all-in-one system with POS, loyalty, online ordering, and gift cards almost inevitably increases revenue allowing businesses to focus on what they do best, serve their customers, Mr. Char says. Although retailers have embraced fintech widely, Mr. Char says restaurants have been slower at adopting the latest cloud-based systems that facilitate operations, as well as provide data analytics to drive efficiencies and revenue growth. This represents a growth opportunity for fintech companies. We're going to see a lot of growth with payment technology and how consumers interact with those payment options. We're far from that growth plateauing, Mr. Char says. Mr. Char says, our goal has always been to give merchants a cost-effective platform that drives enterprise, enterprise value. He adds, every GiveX service is based on the premise that technology should not be a burden, but rather a key tool that makes businesses not only easier, but more profitable. Love to know what you think about this article on, written on and in the Global Mail. You can see ads here from GiveX saying, GiveX investing in companies driving the pandemic recovery. Our technology helps 113,000 locations succeed in the new normal. And you can see here, investing in companies driving the pandemic recovery. You can see the ads here on the right. Restaurant chains turned to our POS and online ordering to succeed. Love to know what you think about this article from the Globe and Mail. And it's titled, Why Investing in Restaurants Post-Pandemic Recovery Includes Fintech. And you can see here at the top, another ad for GiveX. Investing in companies driving the pandemic recovery. Restaurant chains turned to our POS and online ordering to succeed. And then you can click 
to see their financials. All right, so I would love to know what you guys think about GiveX. Once again, a company that we feel is undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed. When we initially started talking about GiveX, we saw a huge spike in the stock. Now the market has been extremely volatile, very choppy, and a lot of stocks have taken it hard in this market and have gone down hard from the large caps to some of the biggest companies in the world have gone down dramatically and a lot of small caps as well. We've seen GiveX go up since we've talked about them. They've come back a little bit. I really believe this is the position at these levels where investors need to consider GiveX. Put them on your radar and on your watch list. Love to know what you think about GiveX. GIVX in Canada, GIVXF in America, a company with a relatively tight share structure and over 50 million in revenue priced under a dollar. I believe this is going to be a big winner for investors in the future. Love to know what you guys think. If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you winners like GiveX and we bring them to you first. Now I must remind you that Rich TV Live is strictly for information, education and entertainment purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, we absolutely love GiveX. We love the share structure. We love the revenue growth. We love the fintech sector. Love to know what you guys think. Comment on the video. Your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. And we're out.